Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a trick I like to use sometimes when I want to incorporate some third-party instruments into Drum Machine Designer. So let's say you've loaded up a Drum Machine Designer kit from the library. Here I've loaded up the Electronic Pop Kit. And let's say you like most of the sounds in here, but maybe one or two of the sounds you wanna swap out with another instrument. Now, one way to do this is just to select that pad. You can click here and then you can go to clear pad and you can actually just drag and drop any audio sample right on that pad and it'll create a new kit piece in Quick Sampler. However, if the sound you're looking for is inside of another instrument, perhaps a third party instrument, you might think that there's no way to use a third party instrument in Drum Machine Designer. But in this video, I'm gonna show you that you can actually do that. Now, I don't recommend using this method if you just want to use a third party drum kit, just use that third party drum kit and just don't worry about Drum Machine Designer. But if you're just trying to swap out like one or two kit pieces for a third party kit, this can be really helpful. So once you've cleared that pad, what you need to do is find the track for that pad inside of the Drum Machine Designer track stack. And you'll see it's right here. That was a snare on D1. And because I cleared it, the instrument that's on that channel is now empty. So what I can do is I can load up whatever instrument I want. So for example, let's say I want to use a drum kit inside of contact. I just load contact on that channel. I'll use the 40s own drums instrument inside of contact. Okay, so I've loaded up another kit here in 40s own drums. This is called the pink house kit. And there's a snare right here that I like. The first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what note that instrument is on in the third party kit. So I'm gonna go to kit here and that's on E1. So now that I know that I can go back and open up the drum machine designer kit. I can select that pad and I need to assign the input and output of that pad. So the input is the key you would play on your MIDI controller to trigger this pad. And the output is the key that you would play to trigger the third party instrument, the snare drum in that third party instrument. So we said that was E1. So we're just gonna change this from D1 over to E1. So essentially when I play D1, now it's gonna trigger that snare drum from contact. And I can rename this, I can call it snare and I'm good to go. Let me do this with one more instrument here, just so you can get an idea of how this works with a variety of instruments. I'm gonna load up UVI Workstation. They've got a lot of really great, like really high quality uh, sampled classic drum kits that I love using all the time. So I'm gonna just choose the Drumulation instrument and I'll just use the original machine. And what I can do is in DMD, Let's set the output back to D1. In fact, it's already done that for us. So let's see if I can trigger a snare in UVI Workstation. Now, again, you have to know what note you're playing in your third-party instrument. So if I wanted to trigger the note on uh, E1, I just switch the output over to E1, and there's nothing there. So. Maybe I'll use a, a different key. Let's use D sharp one. So it's giving me like a clave type sample. So let's go back to D1. So that's really the only thing you really have to change in Drum Machine Designer. You have to make sure that you know what sound, what pitch you're trying to trigger in your third party instrument. So now I have the electronic pop kit for the Drum Machine Designer kit, but I'm also using the snare drum from Drumulation. Now you might think, okay, well, why not just load that up on a separate channel and just separate that one sound on a separate channel? What you lose is you lose the ability to use uh, patterns or pattern regions in the step sequencer to build your drum machine designer beats. The whole gimmick with drum machine designer and step sequencer is that they work hand in hand with each other and each sound or each kit piece in DMD is automatically loaded up here in the step sequencer. And this also applies for third party kit pieces that you've loaded in. So now I can create a drum pattern here. 
that utilizes that third party snare drum. Let's layer this up. Let's add a hi-hat in here. Let's see what that sounds like. And then you can mix that third party kit piece inside of the drum machine designer track stack, just like any other instrument that's in the track stack. Because one of the things you have to remember here is that drum machine designer is not a normal instrument. It's actually a special type of track stack that contains multiple quick samplers by default, but you can swap this out for really any instrument you want. Now, if you don't really have a library of third-party drum instruments, another way to use this is instead of using a third-party instrument, you can use the drum synth instrument or even drum kit designer, and you can incorporate drum synth sounds into your drum machine designer kits. So let's say I want to use a snare here. Let's use the electronic snare. So now when I play D1, it's triggering this sound inside of drum synth. So there you go. That's how you can use third party instruments inside of Drum Machine Designer in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.